Hi guys, in this video we will be learning about the theory of plate tectonics and the evidence that supports it. To begin with, we're going to look at the structure of the Earth. And the Earth is divided into three main regions, being the core, the mantle and the crust. So the core can actually be divided into two separate regions, which is the outer core and the inner core. And then we have our mantle, which is this big section here, and the crust. So I'm just going to go into a bit more detail about the properties of these different areas. Starting with the core, the core is made of dense rock. And these include iron and nickel. It has the inner core is solid, but the outer core is actually molten. So this means that the rock has been heated up high enough because there are really, really high temperatures in the core, which means the rock becomes a liquid state. So alongside that, the temperature of the core is more than 500 not sorry, 5,000 degrees Celsius and it's heated from two sources. One is called primordial heat and this is heat that's been left over when the earth was formed and we also have radioactive heat and this is from the radioactive decay of some elements in the core, such as plutonium. Then we have our mantle, which is this section in red here. And the mantle is molten and also has parts of it which are semi-molten. And it is mainly composed of rocks containing silicon and oxygen. And finally we have our crust and our crust is the lightest part or lightest part of the structure because of the elements it contains in it. So the crust is solid because this is the part of the earth that, earth that we actually live on and it contains many elements which include for example oxygen, silicon. Hi guys, to continue watching this video and unlock hundreds of other super concise and exam board specific A-level geography videos, just click the button. Join me today and together let's make A-level geography a walk in the park.